All right, welcome guys. My name is Matthew Real. I am the encoding manager here at Starport Technologies. Today we're going to give you a short video on how to calibrate the media and the RFID on our new T6000 series Printronics uh, RFID encoding printers. The label we will be encoding and printing today is a 4x2 paper label. This label includes our Boeing Tech 359 inlay. It's a very common inlay that we use across many applications with many customers. This inlay has the Monza R6 chip in it, which is a 96-bit memory chip. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so the first step in the, the calibration process for either the media or the RFID is going to be to feed our media in. So uh, the T6000 series has a spooler built in the back here, but here at Starport we do a lot of big orders, so we have a bigger one that we feed from. However, either choice will work perfectly. So ours, we're going to feed it over the built-in feed, and then over the first arm, underneath the roller, and out through the front of the printer. just like that. Okay. So after feeding our media through, our second step is going to be to set our guide. That's going to be this little metal piece down here. And since this printer uh, allows a label size up to four and a half inches at maximum, uh, the guide slides back and forth depending on your label size. What this does is allows you to feed it straight so that your print is centered on the label. You don't want to press too hard against the label because it may crimp, so just get it touching and tighten that down. Our guide has a little arrow on it so you can set it on a different spot along the label depending on your application. So after that, our fourth step is going to be to set where our RFID sensor is going to be along the label. So the RFID sensor is going to be what reads and writes to the chip. And uh, the chip in our labels is generally in the center, so depending on your label size, you may have to slide this sensor left or right. This is a four inch printer and this is a four inch label, so we're gonna set ours as far as it'll go, right in the middle. Now after those are set, you're going to feed your media through the front of the printer and close your print head by simply pushing down on it until it snaps shut. Clicks. And now we're ready to do our actual calibration. So to do our calibration, we're going to go to the main menu and the interface on the printer, go to our wizard, RFID, and now there's seven steps on here. Uh, this wizard allows you to calibrate both the media and the RFID, not simply the RFID. So once you're here, we are doing gap sensing. However, you do also have the option for mark sensing if your media has black marks on it. Going to tell it to auto calibrate, press enter. Now this is a two inch label, so after it calibrates, it tells you what your calibration is, 2.15. We have an eighth inch gap in between, so that's right where it's supposed to be. After this, we're going over to step six, which is the actual RFID, RFID calibrate, and simply hit enter on that one also. Now the RFID calibrate on the T6000 series does take a little bit longer than some of the other printers we've utilized in the past, however, this is much more accurate. We get a much uh, lower void count off this printer, so it's worth the wait. And then you might be able to clip in the part where that thing keeps popping up, so they know like that's how it's supposed to. Okay. So after the calibration is done, if it's successful, you will get a message saying completed. If not, you will get a red box saying that there was an error. The only time I've ever gotten this is whenever this uh, RFID sensor in the printer is not correctly set. There should be very few reasons you get that. So after completed, you push enter. We're gonna go over, wizard's completed, go over again, go home. The printer is offline, push pause. And so it'll also save this configuration. So if you have to turn off the printer overnight for whatever reason, if you turn it back on, all of your calibration will be saved. So we're gonna save that permanently. And we are now online and ready to print. Okay, so after your printer is all calibrated, uh, you're now ready to print. 
we're going to print a couple sample labels that we do here for uh, various uh, customers of ours. Uh, our software is Nice Label. However, this printer works on a number of different softwares. You'll see on our label here, we have a couple different barcode samples, some common ones, uh, Data Matrix, uh, QR, and uh, Code 39. We also have a counter, which is connected to all of our different fields. And uh, we also have our RFID option down here which allows you to write data to the RFID chip. We always uh, write to the EPC, however you have user data also. And these are all connected to a database. We print millions of labels a year, so entering in the data for each one would not work for us. So after everything's calibrated correctly, we're gonna go to our label and tell it to print. We have our printer selected here. You have different speed and darkness options depending on your application. and simply hit print. Okay guys, so that wraps up our calibration and printing example on our T6000 series. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, these new printers are very user friendly. We print millions of labels here a year and have yet to have a problem with one. Uh, if you ever have any encoding or printing needs, Starport Technology LLC, feel free to contact us.